Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Ms. Zetuna. I am at Clever School. I am a teacher. And now I am going to explain Sunrise 5 for grade 5. Let's start, okay? So, uh, let us start with Unit 10, Lesson 1. Unit 10, Lesson 1, it's about weather. It's about weather. And you know, we have different kinds of weather. If you look at here and these pictures, it's described for example, this one is for, used for cold, cold. The second one is used for what? Warm, warm. The third one is for hot, hot, okay? There are three different types of weather. And the second one is, the first one is windy, windy. This one, this direction is described for windy. And we have this picture. And this one is warm. This one is warm. And if you look at this cloud, and it describes wet, wet, okay? And we have this picture, and this one it describes cold. It means cold, okay? And we have cloudy, and we have cloudy weather. And this picture, it means hot. This picture, it means hot. And if you look at this sun, and it means sunny, hot, okay? It describes hot weather, hot weather. If you look at here, again, it means hot. This picture, it means hot, okay? And directions, it means windy, windy. Again, if you look at this picture, the first one is used for what windy cloudy what is it it is sunny and this one is um, wet this one is wet number two point it's hot in australia we have different kind of what country united states and australia in australia it's hot in Australia. What about the United States? It's warm and windy in the United States. It's warm and windy in the United States. We have different weather and different country. Unit 10 lesson 1. Talk about weather you like and don't like. You like and talk about the weather you like and don't like. And this one is, I think, she likes sunny weather and she don't like windy weather. Let's look at the sentence. Yeah, she said, I like warm weather. I don't like windy weather. This one is windy weather. If you look at the weather, this one is windy weather and this one is sunny weather. Okay, you know? Oh, number four, talk about the weather in Kurdistan. We know in Kurdistan in July it's very hot and in July it's very hot and sunny and sunny. Where in Kurdistan this month in July in July it's very hot and sunny. Unit 10 listen to its conversations. Read, listen and say Okay, if you look at the pictures, we have conversations between two persons. He said, 
walk, walk. And he answered, yes, it is. Can I use your phone? I want to phone my friend, Tom. And he said, hi, Tom, how are you? We are doing a charity walk. What's the weather like? It's cold and wet. If we look at the second, uh, third picture, third picture, Oliver, where are you? That strange Ruby isn't answering her phone. Unit 10, listen to, again we have conversations between two girls. One of them said, it's about uh, weather. She said, what's the weather like in January in Kurdistan? It's about the weather in January in Kurdistan. What's the weather like in January in Kurdistan? She answered, it's very cold. And she asked, do you like very cold weather? She answered, no, I don't. She don't like cold weather. Okay, do you understand? No, it's writing number three. Uh, writing in your notebook, write about the weather in Kurdistan. Again, it's about the weather in Kurdistan. What's the weather? How's the weather in Kurdistan? And the weather in Kurdistan, it is cold in December in Kurdistan. You should write down the weather in Kurdistan as cold in December in Kurdistan. Unit 10, lesson 3. It's a she plays every day. For example, plays day okay she plays every day where are the crayons and the cd player where are the crayons and the cd player the first of may is a holiday the first of may is a holiday it's about the pronunciation how to say a okay and if you look at this email number two this an email is about the weather in england we studied about the weather in Kurdistan. Now we are studying about the weather in England. Okay, and it's an email. Look, the weather in England, it isn't very good. The weather in England, it isn't very good. It's always wet. It isn't very good, it means it's always wet or rainy or cloudy. Okay, it's always wet and it's sometimes hot in summer but in winter it can be very cold in winter you know it can be very cold now in here yesterday was a beautiful day if you look at the sentence we have was and was is used for past and you have yesterday and you should put or use was yesterday was a beautiful day it wasn't hot and we have it if you have it for the past you should put was you should use what was okay it wasn't hot but again we have was with it but it was very sunny it was a bit windy and the sky was blue it's cold in winter in England again it's about the weather in winter in England which country in England okay number three Listen, read, and sing. It's a sing about the weather and the country. Okay? It's about the weather and the country. It is sunny now in Sweden. In Kurdistan, it's hot. It's very cold in England. And it always rains a lot. It's morning in America. In Australia, it's night. The world is going round and round. And everything is all right. This is a thing about it. weather and the countries, weather of country. If you look at unit 10, it's describe some weathers and different type of weather. And we have name of ma, this uh, for country, describe the weather for the country, and this is the weather. 
okay we have different type of weather and we have the name of month month of year okay the first one is january february march april may june july august september october november december okay and now we have we have weather adjective we have countries a month of year month of year if you look at number two talk about the weather in different countries and if you look at here it's hot in Kurdistan in July hot what is it it's the weather adjective okay Kurdistan what is it it's country and what about the July it's the month of year and we have three parts weather adjective countries month of year hot what is it hot hot is the weather adjective and in Kurdistan it's country July month of year and again if you look at this sentence it's cold in England in winter it's cold in cold what's cold cold is used for weather weather adjective England it's country winter what's winter it's a kind of season okay and we have another conversation ask answer questions about the weather again it's about the weather and uh, what's the weather like in Kurdistan in August it's very hot it's very hot is it a hot in Australia in December I don't know I don't know it's a conversation between two person one of them ask and another one ask okay it's about weather now let's talk about you Eleven listen one it's about parts of house it's about parts of house if you look at the first picture the first part is bathroom the first picture is bathroom the second one is bedroom the second one is bedroom and this one is garage this one is garage the fourth one living room this one is living room okay hall we have hall another part of house is kitchen kitchen look at here what is it it's garden it is garden okay there are parts of house if you look at the conversations we have the girl and the boy and the girl said are you in the kitchen he said yes I am yes I am he's in the kitchen unit 11 lesson 1 and again it's another conversations talk about house it's about house parts of house where's the hall she said where's the hall and he answered it's between the kitchen and the living room now if you look at the between 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 it's used for two things it's for two things kitchen and here we have and it's between between the kitchen and the living room she said where's the hall and the hall the hall it it means the hall the hall is between the kitchen and the living room okay so between is used for between two things if you look at the number four and what is it before now we say uh, we said before now i said this one is bedroom what is it bedroom the second one is bathroom third one is kitchen fourth one is living room garage garage hall garden okay and they are part of house where's the television the television is in the living room the television is in the living room okay unit 11 listen to and we have another conversations between girls and boy 
She said, where are the boys? Where are the boys? She answered, I don't know. Let's phone them. If you look at the second picture, look at the second picture. Oh no, where's my phone? Oh, we can't phone them. And she said, I was in the garden. In the morning, it was on the table. Look, there's Aras. Look, there's Aras. If you look the third picture, he said, is Oliver with you? She said, no, he isn't. No, he isn't. He was with me, but now I can't find him. Now I can't find him. If you look at number three, uh, in your notebook, write about yourself and your family yesterday. It's about yesterday. Write about your family, yourself and your family about yesterday. For example, yesterday at 10 o'clock in the evening, I was in my bedroom. Bedroom, sorry. At 10 o'clock in the evening, I was in my bedroom. Now we have was. It's used for past. Yesterday is past. And we have I. If you have I for the past, you should put it was. Okay? And with o'clock, you should put at. Which preposition? Uh, we should use at at eight o'clock in the evening in the evening my brother was in the kitchen my brother we have my brother and it is singular if you have singular you should put it was my brother was in the kitchen unit 11 lesson 3 it's about pronunciation it's about pronunciation how to say how to say the letters a words with y and a okay as a e and a okay let's look 50 monkeys a eating honey 50 monkeys eating honey quickly how can you pronounce y and a okay 50 monkeys eating honey quickly it's cloudy and windy in january i got up early and now i am hungry okay so it's about the sound y and a how can you pronounce in sentence sometimes y has different sounds sometimes it, it has different sounds for example my you should say my fly july gray play okay my fly july gray play it has different sound okay look at this picture ha is an email it's an email hi aras wow yesterday was an exciting day and he said yesterday was an exciting day i was in my bedroom at three o'clock in the afternoon which preposition you should use for o'clock at you should put at and we have because i is a singular you should put it was i was okay it's for past i was in my bedroom at three o'clock in the afternoon mom was at shopping mall and dad was at work there was a big bang. The kitchen was on fire. What about the kitchen? The kitchen was on fire. And the firefighters were. Why we use were here? Because it's plural. Firefighters. We have is. Yes, it's plural. You should choose where. Don't use was. Okay? Was is for singular. Where is for plural. Plural. The firefighters were at the house in five minutes okay and the fire was out quickly why we use was because the fire is singular not as plural so you should choose was not where mom what about the mom mom was home well uh, mom was home at four o'clock she was 
Now look, we have she. Because we have she, you should put was. Don't use where. Okay? And was, it's for past and it is singular. She was happy because I was okay. If you look at the I, I, we ha it is singular and you should put was. Don't use where. Where, it's for plural. Okay? I was okay. Uh, in your notebook, write yes or no. So. It's yes or no, number one. So it is no. His father was at work. His father was at work. Number two, yes. Number three, the bedroom was on fire. The bedroom was on fire. No. At 5.30, his mother was at home. No. His mother was happy. His mother was happy. Yes. Uh, let's go Unit 11. Uh, unit 11, let's talk about the parts of house. The first picture, what is it? It's living room. The second picture is garage. What is it? Garage. The third picture is garden. What is it? Garden. This one is bathroom. Bathroom. This one is kitchen. This one is bedroom. And the last one is hall. Okay? This one is hall. They are parts of house. Number one, find the words parts of house. Which one is part of house? Furniture, number one to ten. Okay, talk about the rooms in your house. Talk about your room. Which room? You have, we have many rooms. For example, we have kitchen, we have living room, we have uh, hall. This sentence, there's a television in the living room. Which one is part of house? Living room is part of the house. And what about the television? There's a television, it's a furniture. There are four chairs in the kitchen and numbers, four is a number. Chairs is a furniture. Kitchen is a part of house, okay? And in here, if you look at it, there are, are, it's a plural, okay? There are, so you should use are, okay? And if you have plural, you should use are. And for singular, you should use is. Number three. Okay, ask and answer questions about the flat and the house. It's about the flat or house, okay? Where's your house? Where's, for example, one of them say, where's your house? It's near the market. You can answer, it's near the market. Is your house big? For example, is your house big? You can say yes it is or no it isn't. Tell me about the living room. There's a television, you can uh, write there's a television in the living room. Uh, thank you for watching. I think this program is useful for you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice time.